cancer at the age of 53. I'll never forget how she spent those final months of her life lying in a hospital bed arguing with insurance companies who were saying that her cancer was a pre-existing condition and maybe they wouldn't have to pay for her treatment. Well, I'm president, we're going to make sure those insurance companies can never do that again. My health care plan will make sure insurance companies can't discriminate against those who are sick and those who need care the most. And if you have health insurance, the only thing that changes is we're going to lower your premium. Okay. But if you don't have health insurance, you'll be able to buy the same kind of health insurance that members of Congress, including John McCain, give themselves. Hispanic, Asian, Native American, young, old, rich, poor, gay, straight, people from all across America. They serve on our battlefields, and they may be Democrats and Republicans and Independents, but they have fought together and blend together, and some have died together under the same flag. They have not served a red America or a blue America. They serve the United States of America. what that flag represents. It's being tested in a way we haven't seen in nearly a century. Future generations will judge us by how we responded to this test. Well, they say this was a time when America lost its way, when it lost its nerve, when we all became selfish and turned on each other, succumbed to the fear tactics and our own petty differences. Or will they say this was another one of those moments where America overcame? When we battled back from adversity, when we recognized we had a common stake in each other and on each other's success. Yeah, I know that many of you are cynical and fed up with politics. I understand you're disappointed and even angry with your leaders, and you have every right to be. But despite all this, I ask of you what's always been asked of the American people in times of difficulty. I ask you to believe. Believe in yourselves. Believe in each other. I believe in the future we can build together. We can't fail. My grandchild, they'll be able to start a business of their own. Everybody here has a story. Maybe your parents and your grandparents or your great-grandparents came here from another country. Maybe people came from a country that wasn't given freedom of speech and freedom of religion. And people wanted liberty or die. And they said to themselves, you know, if we go to that country across the water, then maybe we can have freedom for our children and our grandchildren. And maybe some of you, even though your parents and grandparents were born here, maybe they didn't have the right to vote. But they said to themselves, you know what? If I work hard, if I'm willing to march and struggle, then maybe someday my child might be able to run for Congress, might be able to run for the United States Senate, might be able to run for president. Elections about. That's what the American dream is about. That's what we're fighting for. And if you will stand with me, if you will organize with me and make phone calls with me, if you'll struggle with me over these next 14 days, I promise you, we will not just win Florida, but we will win this general election. And you will 
country and we'll change the world. God bless you and God bless the United States.